and I hope everybody's keeping well. So as you know, back to school is soon. Um, and obviously the department today have issued guidelines. And um, you probably have seen it already in the newspapers. Um, particularly about if you have the vaccine, younger people have the vaccine. Obviously 13 to 15 year olds um, are eligible for vaccines um, now. Um, and obviously the department for the moment, again, I do see they will do this. That you will need a vaccine to go to school, and um, to go to national primary school, or whatever. I see them coming along with that sooner or later, but for the moment it is not that way, and um, thankfully, and hopefully it stays that way because that's discriminating against children, um, and everybody has a right to an education, um. And obviously, you know, it did come out that if you have the vaccine, if you double jabbed, you don't have to isolate. Take for example your classmate Jimmy, um, has covered, um. You know, them, the, the, his class doesn't need to isolate, right? His class doesn't need to isolate for 14 days or whatever. Um, you know, only the person who has it needs to isolate. Um, compared to you know, anybody who's a close contact, that's the word to use. For only people that are double vaccinated. So take, for example, um, Sarah or something like that. Um, it's not vaccinated. Um, she would probably be set home and not allowed to go to school for 17 days or whatever, 14 days. Um, but yeah. So that's what obviously bringing in, and you know, I do feel like again the age consent in Ireland. Tracy O'Mahanley has done a great video explaining the parents. I know there's a good few parents I know, um, that are very concerned, are very worried about um this, um, are very worried about the children taking the vaccine and everything like that. And obviously they're worried because the young children, you know, one of them is thirteen, for example, they're just at the age they can get the vaccine, and they're worried about, it, they're concerned about it, um, especially because. You know, this child is worried about it. He is worried about it, um, and obviously you, you know, there's children that are worried and scared about it. They are scared, um. I know myself when I was younger. I was, um, when I got when I got vaccinated for d different things, um. You know, again, I cried during them and things of like that. You know, um, but you know, I always feel. I think everybody feels a need or um any kind of a need or anything like that, um. But again, again, age of consent, and I'll just on that topic, you know, obviously you have to be 18 really to consent to anything really. You have to be 18 to drink and things like that. That's the age of consent in Ireland. Um, obviously, I would say, particularly to parents and things like that, what I do feel is children being um, forced by the schools and by things to take the vaccine. Um, again, it is, you know, the, oh, at the end of the day, it is up to the parents or the guardians and the child to talk to each other and to see what's right, whatever. Again, it's kind of difficult. Again, it's up to the parents and the child because, again, you have to go... You know, you have that, But, again, it shouldn't be up to the school, the school to, def, to force the child or whatever to take the vaccine. It is kind of a parent's matter. It's kind of up to the parents and up to the child itself to decide. Especially, I'm, I'm not saying when you're a very young age because they will go underneath to five. So, you know, obviously, they will stop do that newborn babies and things like that we all know that's going to come at some stage um but obviously if you're 15 or something like that, or 16 17 or 18 you can probably decide for yourself what's right for yourself um again i say to people again i can advise people what's right yeah again they know what's right themselves um and whatever they take whatever they take is right um again this is a very private matter to people and it's it's up to people to decide for themselves what's right um, so again, I can't advise anybody, I can, I, I can say to people, you know, to, you know, lock it up or whatever, but, um, I can't force people to decide, you know, what, what's right and what's not right. So, again, I do recommend to parents, especially parents that are worried, um, about the children going back or whatever, um, anything like that, um, to please watch Tracy Matley's video, I'll leave it down in the description, she's, uh, wedding the huge detail about everything she's well with up templates and everything for you to send letters into the school or to the doctors and then we got a pco test so enter that if the four again they probably will do mandatory tests and for anybody who doesn't take the the vaccine in schools and um, they probably will have to be a uh, pco tests done every week or whatever Um, same as t uh, tracy madley did touch briefly on temperature checks um and you know, obviously they haven't the fires that the department the department only have a fires at the moment. Um about you know, people who are close contact don't need to unless they're double jab, they don't need to isolate. But again, where's well, the question I have here, um, is number forty, where is that bollocks? 
um, Norma Foley. Like she's gone into hiding. Like she hasn't been seen for the last five weeks, six weeks. Um, she's disappeared. Um, again, she's disappeared at this most crucial time. We need answers. We need to know about our children. Our children are the most crucial people in society. Our young people. Um, they're the future for our country, and we need to take care of them. And Norma Foley's just disappeared. Um. Again, it's no. It's, she's the minister for hide and seek. What else do we need to know? Um, but again, you, you, no one before he needs to get our act together and you know, talk to the people, talk to the people who fought for the win in the first place, and not run away from the people. Again, she can answer so question, but anyway. Um, and then obviously there's other things. You know, there's many other things, but I do advise. Um, I do advise students to go back to school again. I do a lot of students. I know even a few students. They didn't go back and have to repeat a year. I do advise um any students to please, you know, to do go back to school because you know, you need your education, you really do need an education for your life here, you think about the rest of your life. Um so I do advise young people to go back to school. Um so yeah. And again do watch Tracy Matley's video, she goes into the law and um the rights aspect of it. Um and obviously, you know, nobody can force it. Really, at the end of the day, it's your choice. It's free. It is a free country. Um, but again, it is iffy, the law. And again, I do admit, the law is iffy on 13 to 15-year-olds or to 18. And if you're above 18, they really can't. If you're in a school or college or anything like that, they can't really because it's your own choice, really. Uh, but if you're under the age of consent, you I don't know, they can say public health risk or whatever. Um, but again, you... You know, don't let the schools or anything that force your children or whatever. Um, it's up to you as a parent or up to you as a child You to talk to your child and to see what they want and what you want and what you think is best for your child, what they think is best for themselves. Um, but again, it's not up to anybody else. Again, it is a very private matter, so I do suggest to parents to think about it. I do say to think about it. Um, but again, I, I, my fear is that children will be you know, forced by principles or whatever um to you obviously take it um but yeah th again i don't want to seem like an anti fax or anything like that um but it is something you know, the children will feel you know, will feel and will worry about um because i'm sure everybody agrees we don't like nobody likes and you know everybody hates having to go and get a needle or whatever um it's a very sore thing you'd be totally honest there's some needles or so um but again, I do say to parents to think about it and then to children to think about it too. But again, the age of consent, you, you, it's a bit iffy because they can probably, you know, again, that's something that is tracked at the moment. But anyway, I do recommend you watch Tracy Matthews' video. There's probably other things that I haven't touched on. But um, yeah, she put, she does 100% on everything she said. I do agree with. Um, so you have fair play to Tracy. She's always she's always there on her back. She's always standing up for people's rights. So thank you, Tracy, for that. Um, and I'm sure everybody in everybody in this country is very grateful for your for your work. And um, particularly because nobody there's no way to see other no other lawyers, or solicitors or anything like that standing up for people, um, and saying the rights and telling them the rights. So thank you, Tracy. Um, and thank you for everyone to watch. Um, and if you do want to get in touch with me, um, I, I try and do whatever I can to help out any. I don't went to that what suffice I can I can again I can't I can only you know basically talk I can't force you to do anything. So take care everybody and be safe and bye.